Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to give you some tip if you have the disc usage at 100% issues or even like more than 50% and you're not doing anything on your computer. So I'm going to do uh, some quick tips so how you can improve that. First of all, I want to mention it's really important right now in 2024. If you can buy an SSD, buy it for sure. If you can buy just a, like the smaller SSD on the market and just install your Windows on it. And after that, you can use your HDD, uh, your normal drive for other stuff like music, video or whatever you do, what you want to do. But it will really help your performance. So as you can see right now, I don't have any issue with the disk. So everything is at zero. Everything is optimized on this computer. The first thing that you want to do is go to your startup app as you can see over there and you will have all the app that uh, will be launched on your computer sometimes you don't even know it's they are not necessarily in your bar over there so uh you see all the status over there and you can manually disable them one by one as you can see i optimize it a lot i don't have a lot of stuff going on and also you have this startup impact as you can see so if you never did that probably you have a lot of stuff that you don't want to boot when you boot your computer sometimes it's a, it's it can be a software that you open like one time each month so you, not, you don't want necessarily to start it up each time and have some random process going on so just disable it and when you will open your software everything will be fine Another thing that I recommend is on your drive like this, right click on it, go to your properties, tools, and those tools options are very important. The first one will be your error checking, just click check, scan your drive. So now it will scan your drive for any error and it will repair it. So normally it can take up to two, three minutes. If you have an old HDD, it can be uh, longer than that. But this uh, step is really, really important. So now for the purpose of the video, I'm going to cut it. Another thing that it's really important is the optimize and defragment drive. So click optimize over there. If you have an SSD, you don't have like the defragmentation process is just called optimize. If you have an HDD, you will have some fragment that you can optimize. And if you never did that, probably it will be very good uh, to do that for you. So you just click optimize. And as you can see, it's streaming right now. And now, as you can see, the current status is at OK. If you have an HDD, you will have a full process of defragmentation. And it can take time, honestly, depending on how big and uh, if you never did it, it will be uh, a lot longer for sure. The last step is more if you have an HDD. Uh, a lot of people have an issue with this sysmain on Windows. So it's kind of like the prefetching uh, your computer to just predict uh, which... Uh, software that you will open to make sure that your computer will be faster, but it's causing a lot of issue for a lot of people who's running an HDD. Normally, you don't have this option at on when you're running an SSD or an M2 or whatever uh, uh, hard drive that you're running. So what you want to do is just copy paste this and open your common, common prompt like this. You just copy paste it and you press enter. So now your sysmain will be disabled. And if currently you have the 100% uh, percent disk usage issue, you will see right away it will go to 5, 10% or even 0 if you're lucky. And now you completely uh, optimize your disk usage on your computer. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section video. Post me your rig. Also, what type of uh, HDD that you're using and also the brand. I will try to help you the best that I can't. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.